What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, it's been a long old time. I've done a couple more reviews. So now it's time to talk about what I've picked up recently. Little stack here over the last couple of months. It's not everything I've bought, but it's more kind of noteworthy stuff that I think you're gonna find really cool. So let's get into it right now. So a little while ago, I found some really cool horror tin signs from HMV. So for example, I got Camp, Camp Crystal Lake as a sign and Elm Street as a sign. And I knew there was other signs of other horror locations that I wanted to get so I could maybe display my room somewhere. I haven't decided yet. So I found these on Grindstore UK. Uh, this is the Woodsboro sign. Really happy to get that from Scream. You can see Ghostface there. So that's really cool. These were only like $5.99 a piece. So they're really nice uh, additions to my room just to have on display. Woodsboro and the other one I picked up is of course the Overlook Hotel with red rum right there Yep, uh, really nice really really nice signs really really dig it. They're really cool 599 each Grindstore UK They've got other stuff as well. They've got a Resident Evil uh, Welcome to Raccoon City sign that I want so I'll be getting that at some point But I'm really happy to get, add these two to my horror sign collection Next up, we have... Oi, dickheads. Fucking mates. I'm fucking talking to you, mates. What do you want? I've, I've got fucking ass bit in your grave, dickheads. Yeah, I know. People have seen that movie, yeah. It's, it's a remake of the original. From where she goes and fucking kills everybody's. But, like, she spits on their graves. But why is she just all the spitting for, mates? It's a really bad habit, dickheads. They they don't spit on graves, you fucking idiot. Yeah, I, I know, mates. It's like fucking... Killing everybody's and stuff, but like, why would you fucking spit spit on the grave? You gonna spit on my grave, dickhead? Why would I spit on your grave? You're still alive, mate. Yeah, it's it's fucking crazy movie, mate. She fucking kills everybody's. They're spitting on graves, mate. Fucking cutting off willies, dickheads. All the fucking willies get cut off in this movie, mate. It's fucking savagery, dickheads. It's like fucking. Axe wounds for willies. It's fucking crazy, dickheads. Can you, can you just... What's that, mate? Can, can, can you just go now, please? You're fucking rude, dickheads. I'm fucking talking to the people, mates. They want to hear what inquiring minds need to know about fucking cutting willies off and spitting on graves, mates. All right, I'll fucking go, dickheads. Fucking hell, mates. Panty red, mates. So next up we have <clears throat> just basically going through the Blu-rays and 4Ks that I've got. This first one I picked up because I've always been intrigued by this little creature feature. Um, probably the most um, blatant Gremlins ripoff that has been released. I don't know anything about this movie. It could be fucking terrible for what I, for what I know. But this Hobgoblins, this is the really nice limited uh, Vinegar Syndrome edition with the slipcover. I uh, got this super cheap for about 15 quid. Uh, 15 pounds now you tell me guys they literally they, they literally look like a cross between fucking gremlins and critters it's so obvious they've taken both of those designs and kind of amalgamated them together to make their own little kind of hobgoblin creatures it apparently this is this is a, a blatant gremlins ripoff from what i can tell from from uh, the, the basically the the cult cult fans and stuff fans of the actual film but I'm looking forward to seeing if it's any good. It could be so bad it's good, but I haven't heard anything particularly positive about this movie. But yeah, that's Hobgoblins. Next up is a sequel to a film that I've heard people really, really praise and other people that really, really don't really particularly like that much. Um, and that is Exorcist 3, The Exorcist 3. Um, I've, I've technically avoided the Exorcist sequels for, for, for a reason, because I think the first Exorcist is one of the greatest, if not the greatest horror film ever made. Um, and I think it's such a great solo film. It didn't need to be expanded upon or have any sequels. But, you know, as Hollywood does with horror, if it makes loads of money, you know, they've got to cash, cash in on that. But yeah, um, Exorcist 3, I've heard it's got an amazing performance. Brad, Brad Dorif in this movie. Uh, I think I've heard the I think I've, I think I've heard his... His monologue and it's pretty amazing. The 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 amount of just utter contempt and emotion in his in his performance sounds awesome. Um, I've heard this has got one of the greatest jump scares of all time. 
Unfortunately, that has been spoiled for me. I know what that is. I digress, but um, intrigued to see this movie. I've heard very good things about it. I've heard it's it's the best Exorcist sequel, and I know for I know there's some people out there that actually prefer this over the original Exorcist. So this should be a really good old time. This is the Scream Factory limited edition with the slip. This slip is quite hard to get now, so I was really happy to grab this. I think I paid about twenty pound for it, so really happy to grab this uh, on the on the on the Blu-ray there. I could have got the Arrow version. Um, but this came over a slipcover, so that kind of won over for me, I suppose. But that's, that's uh, The Exorcist 3. Next up, we have a title from the Eureka label. Uh, a title that I've been wanting to see for ages. It's a uh, 1992 movie, uh, horror, as far as more as a horror film, uh, Sleepwalkers. Uh, which is brand new with a nice, that slipcover is beautiful. I love that slipcover. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really getting into Eureka. I think they're a really good label. I've got some really good titles from them. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to checking this out. It should be a lot of fun. Next up, we have a British crime gangster film with Samuel L. Jackson and Robert Carlyle, and that is The 51st State. I saw this pretty, like, maybe like last week or so, basically just for the first time, and I, I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. Really, really good movie, really fun. You can tell it must have been a blast to make this movie. The chemistry together is great. I just think it was a lot of fun. Absolute must-watch for any kind of British crime films. Uh, if you're into that, this is really, really good. Next up, we have some Criterion Collection, and it is from the HMV sale, and they had some Criterion uh, Criterion reduced from to about maybe 12 or 13 quid. Uh, so I picked up The Thin Red Lion. Uh, this is a great war movie, and uh, one of the first true Criterion titles that was announced for the UK that I really wanted to pick up. So really glad to get this for pretty much half the price. Next up is a 50s creature feature B movie classic, and that is The Blob. This 50s movie holds up pretty much on par with the 80s remake. I think this original is just a classic. It still really holds up today. I think it's great, and I'm really happy to have this Criterion edition to the collection. It's really cool. Ending the uh, Criterion Criterion pickups with probably the, the, the pickup I'm happy, most happy to get. When this was announced, I wanted it ever since it came out. It's always been about 50 quid. I didn't want to pay that for this set. It came down to about 35 and I was happy to play that. That is the Criterion Lone Wolf and Cub movie series. Now, you might know uh, about this series from the uh, movie Shogun Assassin, which basically kind of is a, uh, a re-edit of the first two movies put together and, and given an English dub. I love that movie. I love Shogun Assassin. For, for what it does, for bringing it to the West, it's great. I always wanted to check out the actual movies in their authentic Japanese form. So, really happy to get this. I'm really happy to, uh, really looking forward to checking these out, definitely. Uh, because Shogun Assassin, as it just is a re-edit of the first two movies, made into one movie, is fantastic. So, I'm looking forward to checking these out for the first time. Next up, we have a, a new, fairly new A24 film. Um, a film that I had no hype, no care in the world to... Uh, to check out because it just seemed like it was just going to be kind of a, a woke pandering movie uh, as it were but Playtendo guy, Pete, uh, he really kind of sold the movie to me uh, he said it's one of the surprises of the year for him so I was like okay cool you're actually intriguing me so I picked up the film Men to see what this is all about um, I saw the trailer, I think it was before we, me and Soph saw X in the cinema and I just immediately said, this looks like a woke, pandering, bullshit movie. Um, but apparently it's not that at all. Apparently it's got a bit of, a bit of meat to it, a bit of, uh, a bit, a bit, a bit of horror to it. Apparently it's really good, but I don't know yet. I haven't watched it yet. I'm waiting for Soph to come around so we can watch it together. But yeah, uh, Playtender Guy, Pete, thanks for the recommendation. That's men. Next up is the remake of A Pet Cemetery. Um, I, I have not seen either of these movies, the original or the remake, um, but this was super cheap, like two quid or something, on um, Music Magpie on eBay, and it was like a buy one, get get a second, like, I don't know, like 10% off or something. So I, uh, I picked up the remake uh, for Pet Cemetery. Uh, I'm not sure how people feel about this as a remake. Obviously, I've not seen either, so I can't, I got no, I, you know, I got no uh, dog in this game at all, but. Um, I've not heard terrible things about it, but it, I think it just it just is right from from what I can gather. Uh, yeah, pet cemetery, pet cemetery remake. Next up is a kind of weird kind of a World War Two thriller kind of movie. 
But I remember not caring about it when I saw it in the cinema when it came out in 2018, but I've wanted to give it a rewatch, and that is the film Overlord. Um, yeah, I've really wanted to give this a rewatch. I think over the last few years, I think my, my, my taste in movies has changed a lot um, since starting YouTube, and I've really kind of delved into different kinds of movies. And at the time, this movie was a bit weird and a bit really kind of not what I expected it to be, um, which is weird. But um, yeah, I want to give it a rewatch, and uh, I know it has a lot of fans. There's a lot of there's a big cult following for this movie, so that's Overlord. Next up, I had to pick this up because I love 88 films, and they put out great releases. And when I heard that they're putting out their first ever 4K, and it was a film I have just so many fond memories of as a kid uh, watching this when I got into like Hong Kong cinema and that kind of ilk. Um, it's a film called Drive, and it's their first, it's 88 Films' first 4K. And I'm just going to say, this slip box is absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah, their first ever their first ever 4K from 88 Films. Yeah, really chuffed to get that. I haven't watched it yet, but um, I've got super nostalgia for it from when I was like in, in my early teenage years. I used to have this friend of mine who, he was all about like, you know, martial arts and, you know, martial art action movies. So I discovered a lot from him, and this was one of them, and... This is just going to give me a lot of a lot. I'm going to get a lot of nostalgia from rewatching this, and I bet the 4K transfer is going to be great. I bet it is because 88 films have have been spectacular all year. Next up is three gangster movies. I went I went on to the HMV three for 30 4Ks. I was in a bit of a gangster vibe. I've been playing the Mafia games recently, so I picked up Casino. Just one of the best, right? One of the best. Goodfellas, probably the best, in my opinion, when it concerns gangster movies. And Scarface, a film that I've never really been the biggest fan of, but I thought, what a, you know, there's no better way to give this a second try, a, a rewatch of sorts on 4K. So those, there are those gangster movies. Next up is a film I never actually thought about buying, but it was only like five quid in CX, so I thought well, I'd give it a shot. I've heard terrible things about it, but I've heard the 4K is like tech demo level 4K. So that is the Gemini Man with Will Smith. Yeah, heard terrible things about this film, but when it concerns like the 4K, I, I hear it's basically demo worthy, like pretty much like top tier in terms of how it looks. So I'm looking forward to just being blown away by the visuals. This is this is solely a visual. Uh, movie to me, so I'm looking forward to checking that out. Um, speaking of Pet Cemetery, Pet Cemetery remake, I picked up the original Pet Cemetery on 4K. Never seen this movie. Uh, I know it's it has a massive, massive cult following. Loads of people love this film. So uh, obviously, I've, I've I've heard things about this movie. It's probably been memes to death as well. But yeah, um, sometimes dead is better. That's Pet Cemetery, the original on 4K. Next up, it might be one of my favourite movies of the year, and that is, that is, guys, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I had an absolute blast with this movie. Um, the first Sonic the Hedgehog movie was fun and really, really heartwarming and great. This just smashes it right out of the park and is one of the greatest sequels to a movie out there, um, in my opinion. Like, it's very rare that you get a great video game movie. To get a sequel to that video game movie and it'd be better than the original video game movie is unbelievable. Um, and this probably is the greatest video game film of all time. I'm a huge Sonic fan. I, Sonic was one of the first video games I ever played. So for Sonic the Hedgehog to come out in 2020 and be a massive success and be actually good and heartwarming and a great little kick family film and then for this to come out and be just so much fun and just so faithful to the source material uh, is just so wonderful and I'm so so happy to be in alive in this time period where we get a fucking Sonic the Hedgehog film that doesn't suck both of them both films don't suck and it's amazing yeah Hollywood uh, video game movies be more like Sonic 2 please because it's awesome next up is a film that I don't particularly have uh, nostalgia for per se, but um, I do want to give it a rewatch. And this was dirt cheap on eBay. It must have been about seven quid, and that is the Karate Kid. Um, yeah, uh, I don't have any nostalgic ties for this. I remember watching it as a kid. I remember having like the whole like trilogy as a kid on video, but 
there's no nostalgia there. Um, so this is going to be interesting watching this as an, as an adult and seeing if I like it. But yeah, um, I thought seven quid, I can't go wrong, slip cover as well, 4K, Karate Kid. The only thing it does, doesn't have, probably why it was so cheap, is uh, the Blu-ray is missing, it's just the 4K disc. But I don't really care about that, that's fine. Uh, that's absolutely fine, but yeah, Karate Kid. Next up is probably the greatest fucking 4K release I've ever purchased, and that is the Blue Underground release of Dead and Buried. Um, this, this says everything. This cover is just everything I want right now. Amazing lenticular sleeve. And you slip it up. You've got the reverse cover art, which is the original poster art for the film. And it's it's just it's just beautiful. Absolutely fucking beautiful. I love it. This movie is so good as well. Um I highly recommend it. If you're if you enjoy really bizarre mystery horror, I think Dead and Buried will be your cup of tea. I thought it was fantastic. It's probably one of the best kind of small town American kind of horror story I've seen in a while. Very cool. And again, that lenticular slip is is just everything to me. It's so good. That's Dead and Buried Blue Underground 4K. Next up, we have another Blue Underground 4K release, which is Uncle Sam. This one's not as nice as the Dead and Buried set, I must, I must admit. Um, it's, it's definitely, it's still got quite a nice, um, if you can make it out on screen, it goes from being a normal face to a zombie face. Normal face, dead face. Um, yeah, you've got the original artwork there as well. Um, again, it's just, it's, it's, unlike the Dead and Buried set, the Dead and Buried set comes with three discs, the soundtrack, the Blu-ray and the 4K. This just comes with the 4K disc. After seeing how nice this was, I kind of had to go and get some more. And that brings us to the, the final uh, pickup for this video. And it is another Blue Underground 4K release. And that is the Toolbox Murders, uh, a Toby Hooper exploitation movie. Not seeing this one. Um, it's funny enough because I have the remake on, uh, is this Toby Hooper? It might be the remake, but um, I've got the remake on Anchor Bay uh, on DVD. So never seen the original, but this this this, this isn't a lenticular. This is more of an embossing. I don't know if you can see that, catch it there where it's kind of raised. It's really nice, actually. Really nice. This has got a bit of a different case where they've got the black, the 4K bit there. Still really, really cool. I really, really do like it. It's nice. And this, this comes with both the Blu-ray and the 4K. So that is it, guys. That is the pickups over the last two months. Just, just a handful of highlights that I just wanted to show off. Really happy with those Blue Underground sets. They're amazing. Go and support Blue Underground because I'm definitely going to think about, you know, picking up some more of their stuff in the future. But anyway, guys, that has been my pickups. Let me know what you think about the pickups in this video. Let me know if there's anything you would pick up yourself or that you really like or maybe you don't like. Let me know. Uh, yeah, and I will see you um, next time. I fucking have you, mate. I fucking pound the head, dickheads. You know what I mean, mate? I fucking have you. Bye. Bye.